The human brain is pretty complex. Let's take a closer look. You see, your brain is the boss of your body. It runs the show. It runs just about everything you do. Literally, when you are asleep. Not bad for something that looks like a big wrinkly sponge. So, just as our body has more than one type of muscle, each with its own specific functions and strengths. Likewise, our brain is made up of several different parts, each designed to oversee a specific set of functions. Mm -hmm. And much like our muscles, our brain becomes more efficient when we exercise it mm -hmm. with special mental activities and workouts. Mm -hmm. In fact, even when we sustain a brain injury or have a learning disability, the brain can find ways to rewire itself. When exposed to specialized training, challenging the brain is beneficial for everyone, regardless of age. This is why I've developed my brain games. Together, we'll give your brain the workout it needs to keep you on top of your game. Now then, the brain is made of two hemispheres, the left and the right. The mm, left hemisphere is thought okay. to deal primarily with logic and reason, while the right side of the brain sees the world through a lens of creativity, mm. music and visual imagery. Furthermore, mm. both sides are powerful in their own right, but only by combining their strengths can we unlock the power of creative problem solving. And so, this is where our workout begins. Let's get those synapses firing. Challenge yourself with some brain games and get your brain matter pumped up just in time to hit the beach. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Right, that's a uh, brain. I've calibrated these videos especially for your brain. Yeah. It should only hurt a little. <laughs> just very, kidding. Yeah, very good. More or less. Okay, let's go another video. Okay now, I am going to give it to you straight. Nothing in our universe is static. Everything is moving in relation to everything else. Because everything is Uju, in motion. universe. The Earth. The Earth. Okay, this is the in Earth. Motion. Jigu. The galaxy. Mm. In motion. Galaxy. You, me, in motion. Mm. Get the picture. Mm. Now imagine this. A boy throws a ball against a wall at five miles per hour. Mm. Now, imagine he is standing on the back of a truck moving at 40 miles per hour. Dangerous. Yes, do not try this at home. This is a thought experiment. Mm. Observe. From the boy's perspective, when he throws the ball, it is moving away from him at 5 miles per hour. However, as stationary observers, you and I would see the truck pass by the brisk 40 miles per hour. Mm -hmm. Adding the speed of the ball to the speed of the truck means that, from our perspective, the thrown ball is moving 45 miles per hour. So, one observer sees the ball moving at 5 miles per hour, while mm. another sees the same ball at the same time moving 40 miles per hour faster. Mm -hmm. Mm. And do not forget this, who and I are moving as well. Mm. Everything is moving. So, from someone else's perspective, who knows how fast the ball is moving? Pretty amazing, depending on your point of view, of course. Mm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, even the most complicated concepts appear simple when presented as cartoons. At mm -hmm. least that's my theory. Mm. Okay, uh, let's try another video. video, 다른 video 한번 봅시다. 다른 video. For instance, the universe is even stranger than you think. The universe, yeah. Imagine this. Galaxy. A spacecraft is hovering over a giant reflector. Mm. Now, imagine that the spacecraft fires a light beam directly at the reflector and that the light beam bounces back up to the craft. Mm. Notice, 
An observer on the spacecraft would see that the light beam traveled a specific distance over a specific time. But, here is where it gets interesting. Did you see the orange spacecraft that flew by just as the green spacecraft was firing? Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at what an observer on the orange spacecraft would have seen. Mm -hmm. You see, to the orange spacecraft, the event looked like this. Yeah. Wow. Notice okay. how the beam has traveled a longer distance from yeah, the orange beamy? ship's perspective. Mm. You may remember this important mm. fact from your data cards. Mm. The speed of light is a constant. It mm. never changes. So if the light traveled a greater distance, then more time must have mm. elapsed. Excited but how is this possible? Only one way. Time on the orange ship has sped up. The clock on the orange ship would show that more time has passed relative to the clock on the green ship. Mm. This effect is called time dilation. Mm. Mm. It gets crazier as the difference in speed between mm. two objects increases. Mm -hmm. So does the time dilation effect. It's true. I will go ahead and let that simmer for a while. But if you really want your mind blown, one day I will show you how speed is relative as well. Mm. <laughs> okay, one day you will show us. Okay, good. The information in these videos represents years and years of research and hard work. Mm. And now, they are cartoons. Yeah, universe. I'm how is that first universe. The universe. It's where we live. It's mm. where we work. It's where we keep most of our stuff. It's a pretty great place. But where did it come from? And how big is this thing? And what does this good know that he's not telling us? Mm -hmm. The first thing you need to know about the universe is that it's big. How big is it? 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 How big In fact, it's so big, we have to measure it in light years. Mm. A light year is how far light travels in mm. one year. Mm. And everything we know no, shows that the universe light is only years getting so. bigger. Mm. So where did all of this space come from? How did it get here? And what does it have to mm. do with the scope? In order to answer those questions, we have to go back to the beginning. Not just any beginning, the beginning of everything. Mm -hmm. Brace yourself, you're well, about to see something pretty impressive. Big Bang. Well, what do you think? Impressive? Big Bang is coming. Mm. Okay. Oh, I see. We arrived a bit early. Mm. Wait for it. Now we are talking. Yeah. This is the Big Bang. Big Bang was created right here. That every bit of matter, energy, space, and time that exists today expanded from a single point 13 billion years ago, resulting mm. in what we call the universe. Mm. 13 billion All that years matter ago. And energy expanded, cooled, and began to form the structures we are familiar with today. Stars, planets, and solar systems. Mm. Take this solar, solar system. system, for example. Solar system in the center of every solar Big system Bang is a star. This one's gravitational pull was strong enough to capture eight planets into its orbit. The light and heat from the star affects each planet differently depending on how close they are. <laughs> Calm down, goat. I'm getting to you. The closest planet to the star can reach temperatures of nearly 800 degrees. Oh, it's too hot though. for anything fun to happen there. Mm, think of the ten lines. Not ideal. The farthest planet barely gets any sun at all. With its howling winds and below freezing temperatures, your drinks may stay cold. But mm. then, so will you. Mm. Then, there's the third planet. The star's light and heat are perfect, mm. not too hot, not too planet. cold, 
It's just right. 태양에서 너무 멀면 은 너무 춥고 세 번째 춥지도 않고 덥지도 않은 곳 <웃음> 여기 이제 지금이다. 세 번째 행성이 태양에서 세 번째 행성이 지금 너무 춥지도 않고 너무 덥지도 않고 물도 있고 음, 그래서 생명체가 살수 있고요. 세 번째로 가까운 행성입니다. 우주에서 길을 잃었어요. 재미있는데 우주에 가는 거는 아직까지 조금 두고 오 프로세스도 있고 okay. 예, 브레인 게임스 예, 브레인 게임스 한번 해볼게요. 플레이 네, 25 이거 한번 아, 오케이, 주니어 지니어스 This is the perfect difficulty level for junior geniuses. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, hotshot. How to land. <laughs> the goal here is to use your booster to slow your descent and land your rocket safely on the planet's surface. Mm-hmm. Well, I have worse landings. Oh, worse landings. 게임을 할줄 몰라가지고, okay. Landing 이거, okay. This one. Okay, here's your angle of approach. Flick the puck to hit each target. To flick mm. the puck, touch inside the dashed ring in the direction you want it to go. Okay, here's your angle of approach. Mm. Flick the puck to hit. To flick the puck, touch inside the dashed ring in the direction you want it to go. Mm. Okay, here's your angle of approach. Flick the puck to hit each target. I don't know how to do it. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Hello. Oh. Always good to speak with a fellow oh. scientist. We're going to do some great work oh. together. Trust me. I'm a genius. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. good, wonderful! Oh, oh yeah, yeah! It's a, it's a brain game, right? Brain game, me, 머리 좋아지게 하는. Oh, it's very interesting. Okay. This is the Atlas robot. Oh. Uh, okay. The planets on his scales using their relative sizes and the density indicator. Hmm. Okay. How you do it? Touch any planet to move it to the opposite side of the scale. The side of the scale, okay. Use the combined mass of the planets on each side to balance the scale. 
This is the Atlas robot. Balance the planets on his scales using touch any planet to move it to the opposite side of the scale. Mm. Use the combined mass of the planets on each side oh, to balance okay. the scale. Oh, <laughs> okay. I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. Ah, okay. You have to have a uh, one here so that oh now I can get it. Okay. That's sun. Okay, that's very good. <laughs> All the games you have very good. Games got many in there. Games got 굉장히 많이 게임 있어서 이게 브레인 게임입니다. 브레인 게임이 한 20개 정도 있다 그랬는데 10개, 20개. 